Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Momo Yayorozu from My Hero Academia. Okay, pencils first and then sharpies. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself. Get us going. All right, I gotta, I gotta make her a little lower because uh, her hair's sticking up, right? So, yeah, <laughs> I gotta kind of plan for that. Okay, and I got her kind of a, I think I like a fighting pose. Nothing too crazy, you know. Uh, there's just not a lot we can do with the costume because there's not a lot of costume. So, you know, I just gotta find a good pose and uh, and go from there. There we go. That's gonna work. And I mean, uh, yeah. So it's mostly. Um, um, her, her her outfit and then the pose is really all we're gonna go with because like I said her uh, her outfit is pretty much just um, boots and a shirt skirt so you know I just have to make it work and uh, get creative Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna work like that. Now I gotta try to, I gotta try to make her her belt cover her. Okay. And she has a very big breast. So we're gonna, you know, as much as I, I try not to make it embarrassing that it's about breasts or it's about, uh, you know, it's just is this human anatomy? I can't avoid it this time. It's it's uh, it's part of the costume. And it's it's very very uh, cleavage heavy, I guess is the best way to say it. So okay, so our belly button be right there, and I got it kind of uh, uh, bent because um, I've got her kind of hunched over. There you go, and then you can do the yeah, that'll work out. I mean, the thing is about like a lot of this, which is uh, uh, you know these anime characters and whatnot. It's hard to tell what's actually what because it's you know it's a cartoon, and sometimes stuff is animated uh, or or drawn for animation to make it easier to animate. So what I mean by that is is very very uh, simple lines. And uh, sometimes, with, with stuff like this, like these costumes, you can't tell what's what. Because sometimes they do stuff just to make it simple, and it may not be anatomically correct, you know? It may be just, well, we did it like that because there's less lines to draw, and we can we can do something like that. Like, uh, who's a, like, All Might? Uh, I can't, I'm drawing a blank on his name, but... Um, the character when he's not All Might, right? He's got that weird face that, you know, it doesn't work as a human being, but, you know, it works for their, their animation. So, I get it, you know, but again, you know, there's things like that, 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 uh, it's a little, a little crazy because... You know, you, you can get away with stuff like that in animation, but when if you're going to make like a live action, how are you going to do that? What are you going to do with that face, you know? So, that's what I mean by stuff like this. Like, you know, her costume, it's cool, but some of it doesn't make sense. Like, there's this, this strap, I guess, going across her chest. Don't know. I have no idea. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to put something in to match it. So, you know, there's only so much I can do, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> because it's just uh, a little bit crazy. Okay, so how about we do... Ooh, I like that. Um, sometimes I'll just, like, sketch, just trying to see where, where, where I'm going to go with it. 
And I kind of like that one. This this kind of looked good. Okay, so I'm going to have her hand. Let me look in the mirror real quick. Something like this. Just the fingers out. You know? There we go. Because, you know, I don't really have her doing much. She's just standing there getting ready to fight. Uh, because really it's about her, her look, her costume, and her, her hair, right? That's really what's going to define her as a character in a drawing. Like, I'm not trying to <laughs> try to simplify her and say, you know, she's got no defining features. I mean, she does. She's got her defining characteristics, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I can only do so much with the drawing. So, so I'm trying to you know, have a little fun, figure this out. And make it uh, make it look good. I'm trying to give her a small mouth too, because there you go. Look, there's another thing that's uh, you know um, anime or animation it doesn't even have to be anime. Uh, that's a challenge. Is sometimes characters like this, they've got just a tiny little opening for a mouth, a little slit for a mouth, and that's it. And how am I supposed to make that into? a real character, you know? It's like, how do I find um, a, a, a defining feature with just a slit for a mouth, you know? So, sometimes you gotta get a little, a little crazy. Alright. Not bad. Let's draw some hair over her face. And give her a hairline. Let's see. So, let's see. Her hair is going to fall over. This is where it's going to get tricky because um, because uh, we're trying to, again, emulate that anime style or anime look with her crazy hair. Okay, so we're going to say it's pulled back. Going right there. Okay, so we'll do something like that. So, like, it's all pulled back into a bun, right? I guess that's how it's supposed to be. It's pulled back, and from there, it's falling out into this big rooster mane of a head that she's got. Something like that. Alright, let's try that. So, I'm good with that. I'm ready to go. I'm going to move forward. I am going to erase some of these sketch lines. Oh, she needs an eyebrow. Erase some of these sketch lines and uh, welcome everybody that skipped over to the Sharpie portion. But I just need the the uh, confidence lines the the, la the ladder lines as I got more confident my lines got darker and those are the ones I'm going to stick with but I just need all those tiny little sketch lines that got me there I need those to disappear if you're working with pencil you just keep drawing you just start drawing darker is all you got to do but for me I need to make some of this disappear so when I work with the sharpie it doesn't stand out uh, brighter than the sharpie okay I think that's erased enough. I can move forward. Awesome. Here we go. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So, I sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of it, and what I'm going to start with is the Sharpie pen to... Uh, um, control the line widths a little bit better and a little bit easier and go from here. So I'm going to start with her eyes and now she's got a piece of hair covering that eye so we're not going to draw the entire thing. We're just going to draw the top of the lid like a quarter, three quarters of it like this. The other one fully like that. See it's a little bit longer and I just got to make sure I got them balanced like that and it looks good to me so I'm going to keep going. Let's see, I'll draw the hair so you can see where we are. Like that. And that'll give you a start-stop point so you know not to go further than that because the hair is going to be covered up 
or the eye and the features are going to be covered up by the hair right there. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little bit of, a, of an iris, just a little bit of a round part like that. Same thing over here, so we got our, woo, that's a lot. I didn't mean to go that much. Let's see if we can fix that. So I can't really draw a lot of the iris, or at least here I can, right, because I got the eye uh, showing more. Um, so I'm just going to do a little dot, a little dab. Um, that's my tiny dab, you can't see the whole thing. So for the under part of the eye, I'm just going to kind of come in like that and imply that it's going down because uh, it's going to bleed if I start to go too far. And so same thing, I'm adding a little bit of makeup like that, a little bit of, uh, of uh, uh, eyelash, but that's all I want to do because, like I said, this is to so tiny. See, I got to be careful right there. It's already going to come back and hit the eye. So I got to stop. See, more and I'm going to just cover it all up. So let me draw some eyebrows. I'm just going to have a real thin little eyebrow doing something like that. We'll do another one like this. And for the nose, we're just going to come down here. I got her head kind of turned a little bit, so you can see a little bit of a profile. Normally I don't do that line right there because I like color to take care of it. But uh, I've got her head turned a little bit, so I can um, add a little bit of a feature. Okay. So I was talking about this in the sketch that she's got a little tiny, just little mouth. So I'm going to try to keep it simple too. Oops, that went too low. Let's see if I can fix that with this bottom lip. Like that. So it still didn't quite work out. Like it bled a little bit too much. So I'm going to try to fix it like that. And her chin right here and I'm gonna thicken it up because I'm gonna switch over to this sharpie in a little bit and this one's super thick so I'm trying to match what's about to happen with that so okay so I'm gonna work on her chin to her jawline to her ear or the side of her head I guess and you can see um, because her hair is pulled back you can see a little bit of this ear like that because uh, the, the the amount that we can see but like I said we're not gonna draw a lot of it we're just gonna show a little of it because her head is turned you would see more on this end but again her head's turned and her hair is covered up so we're not uh, we're not gonna see that much either way okay so I'm gonna draw the other side of her face here again for my purposes thickening it up just a little bit and uh, finish up this hair over here Okay, and her, because her hair is pulled back, I'm going to have it kind of uh, stretched a little bit. So let's go ahead and do this edge right there. Right there. Let's see where her hair is pulled straight back. Oops. Oh, I keep messing that up. And um, this piece is hanging out, so we're going to go ahead and just draw this over. And that's all I'm going to do for the hair. Color is going to take care of more of it, and I want that to stand out over uh, the uh, um, the lines. So I'm going to just let the color do that. And that's all I'm going to do for the hair. Normally I draw a whole bunch of lines, but I'm trying to limit myself since uh, since uh. Like I said, I want color to do it. I'm trying to keep from drawing every single hair. All right, so again, for my own purpose, I'm gonna thicken this up. And so see, now her hair is all pulled back. That means we can draw the rest of her old crazy strands here because of her her, uh, her hair being in like this weird little tight bun, right? That's the only reason I can think of why it's all crazy back like this. It didn't quite come to a point. Got to fix that. So let's see. And I'm gonna do some more. Look at this. Sorry if I go quiet there, but once I start concentrating, my mind just uh, disappears into my brain. Boy, that didn't make any sense, does it? That's like saying my shoe, my shoe, my foot disappears into my, my toe. Or my, my toe disappears into my foot. You know what I mean? I'm just saying the same thing. Sometimes it don't make sense. I'm not a speaker, right? 
Um, let's switch over to the big Sharpie for this because this is a super thin line and I want to start getting thicker here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to do like this. And one more like that. And for these, I think it will add a little bit extra, a little bit of, uh, of uh, hairline. Just a little like that. Same thing. Just to kind of accent that there's, there's some in there. And there you go. So that's all I want to do. I want to do more there. So I want to do so much more. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to keep going. I'm just going to get going with this. All right. So her neck is coming down and it's a little underneath her hair right there. So I can draw this side. See that side just kind of disappearing into the, uh, the neck there. And so I've got her kind of in a, in a fighting stance. I got one hand up. So I'm going to draw her um, costume. So I'm going to draw the little like, like shoulder straps raised up just a little bit like that and uh, let's go ahead and draw her costume and so I talked about this in the sketch that it's a very revealing costume so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw the anatomy we're gonna draw her breasts like they are like I said it's a very revealing costume but what are you gonna do that's how they designed it right so I need to draw what's on front first which is that weird strap going across her chest um, in front of everything too so let me draw let me draw, I guess, her edges here, around to the breasts, and then we'll draw that on top. That'll give us our, our start, start stop points. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her breasts. And then, let's see, I'm gonna come in a little bit for them. But, I'm gonna keep going with her costume. And I got some wrinkles in it, because I got her a little hunched over right here. All right, so let's do the other side too, and that'll help guide us to where that strap is going across. So I'm going to draw the edges here, basically her sleeve and her um, um, rib cage to her waist down to where the belt's going to be. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to draw the first strap down about right there. Do the same thing on this side, and then now I can draw the little. Um, Let's do it with this Sharpie. No, 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 no. We'll do it with this Sharpie. We'll stay stay consistent. I'm just going to go across like that. And this one's going to go in. Reconnect like that. And then we can draw the rest of it off to the side right there. Off to the side. And the middle line. Like that. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to draw her other breast over here. Basically, it's coming in over here, come up like that, and now I can draw the uh, split in her costume. So she's coming, coming, it's coming down her neck like this, and I want to use it with the thinner sharpie just to just to accent where we are that it's it's a a, a cut in the material, not the edge of a. Uh, a body edge like that okay so we're gonna say that it goes under her breasts and 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 cuts in a little bit so it's gonna be like this again I have her costume a little creased over here not as much over here coming back same thing we're gonna cut around the breast and connect it right there we'll go ahead and do like a little like a little neckline something like that and here we go. So again, because she has here, let's, let's add some lines here. We're not quite disappearing or fading off. It's a, a very thick line. So I'm just going to do it up like that. Okay. All right. So again, I'm going to add a little uh, seams in her material. There are some, some uh, lines of color going down right there, but I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm going to let color take care of that. And now I'm going to work on her arms. Then we'll do finish the rest. All right, so let's go ahead and do this arm since we're here. And it's just anatomy is all it is because that's the only part of her costume that's cloth. Everything else is just her arms and legs showing. So I'm going to draw her shoulder like this down to her arm, her bicep. It's going to go down to the crook of her arm, to her forearm, to her wrist. 
I'm going to do the same thing over here to the opposite side. So I'm going to come in, same thing, bend it right there. I'm going to add just a little bit of a bend, like there's a crook of her arms right there. And because, yeah, it's, it's mostly skin, I'm going to do more with color. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Just make sure everything's connected. And uh, I'm going to draw her hand just in a fist. You know, nothing too crazy. She's in a fighting pose anyway, so she's ready to fight. Okay. Again, I'm going to add just a little bit of detail with this small Sharpie. There you go. Not too much because it's it's just skin. We don't have to draw a lot of folds or creases or anything. So this hand's going to be up. I'm going to draw her shoulder to her or bicep down to the crook of her elbow. The crook of her arm, I guess the opposite is the elbow. Her forearm up to her wrist do the opposite end. Same thing, I'll just opposite side. And I'm going to do her hand kind of like this. It's hard to show you. So, I'm draw the back of her hand up. There's her inside to her pinky. Like this. Her thumb is just going to be out. Like that. That's the inside of the hand. So, all of them now are just bent. Uh, kind of like the pinky. Until they're standing straight up. There you go. And again, like the uh, other hand, there's not a lot we're really going to add. Unfortunately, it's with a big sharpie, so it bled a little bit. You know, nothing we can do about that. And there. I'll try to clean it up a little bit as much as I can, I guess. All right. Okay, so now we're going to draw her belt right? Is that what those are? Uh, which is pretty much covering up the bottom of it. Um, I'm sure it's like a suit with like leggings, but for, for all we see right now, we're just seeing the belt. So I'm just going to draw the outer edge like this. Top of it going across. Coming down like that. Connecting anything that's not connecting. Same thing. Do the other side. Okay, and just go across and connect. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add her like like a buckle. So basically we're gonna do the middle like that. And I guess they're not really buckles, they're just kind of seams or something, I don't know. Again, like I was talking about in the sketch, sometimes they do stuff for animation that's easier to, uh, to draw, to animate and it doesn't make as much sense in the real world but it's easier to do like this there we go all right okay so now we're just drawing legs to boots so it's anatomy so i'm going to draw her inner thigh down to her knee like this then i'm going to go draw down to the boot and so that's where the boot's going to be and we'll just go ahead and finish up this side so you can see where we are. And to the ankle, front of the boot, come down like this. It's going to be coming up. So we're going to draw the outside of her leg to her knee. Then the calf, side of the boot, like this. Again, I'll add just a little bit of detail. And just kind of showing the boot is there. Let me make sure there's no detail in the boot I gotta worry about. Nah, just boot. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and give her a knee so there's at least something there, right? And let's see. So let's draw the other part of her leg. Or the other leg. It's not just a part, it's a whole leg. Um, there's the top to the knee. Bent in like that. It's gonna bend to the calf. But that's where the boot's gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and do something like that. Draw the front, a couple of folds down to the toe, the back, the heel. We'll add a longer heel in a second. 
down to the front like that. And there we go. Again, like uh, like I talk about in some of the other shows, or shows the other drawings I do, don't know why they give female characters all heels. Um, it's not good for fighting, but hey, that's that's the way they want to animate. They, they're the ones with the show, not me. So they must be doing something right. Okay. And there we go. So, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Momo Yayorozu from My Hero Academia. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used. Or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.